Hey everybody, Jake Judge here with Mitchell Equipment. Uh, today I'm sending a 125 Maxim uh, equipped with Active Drive 8 transmission. Uh, so we're going to talk through some of the cool stuff that that, that, that transmission has to offer. Um, just kind of going through our basic components here. Everything's the same. We have our throttle, uh, our throttle handle. Everything works the same uh, as an Active Drive 4 and an Active Drive 8. But this throttle here is like the CVX. Uh, you can control your minimum your minimum there uh so speak it's talking through it at the beginning uh, so it's kind of it's very similar it's kind of a combination between your active drive 4 and your cvx uh and we can show you all that the shuttle ratios are split into thirds instead of fourths so that makes it ideal for those mid-range um revolution uh, requirements such as bailing you're in that middle b range instead of like in between b and c like in the active drive 4 so so that's a huge advantage for this for this transmission so you're not always having to shift from ranges uh that range split has been moved so so it's perfect so we're going to start this machine up so within the first 15 seconds of starting you have to push your configure tab here and you just hold that in uh, within the first 15 minutes or 50, first 15 seconds of, of starting the machine it'll bring up your configuration menu um, so this is everything that you'll need to do so if you go down to active clutch 2 uh, and then you push your diamond with a square and so then you can, you can see on here it's high medium low and off and so our active drive clutch so we're going to want to put this in high uh, so that's on we have our memory we have our memory shuttle here we want our memory shuttle on and we want our smooth shift on so now when we exit this tab we should have our smooth uh, smooth shift our active drive 2 and our memory shuttle all all engaged so we'll, when we go to forward here and we start moving forward so now our clutch is our active drive 2 clutch is enabled so this allows us to have those ranges but just similar to the CVX transmission if we want to stop we just slowly push in on the brakes so now that used the transmission to slow me down and inevitably stop me all by, I didn't touch my throttle, I didn't touch my hand up there, I just merely used the brake to push down, give pressure, uh, and since I have it set to high, it's not that much as much pressure as if I had it set to low uh, or whatever, what have you. So if I let off this now, I let off of my brake, now I'm going again. So say, you know, you're bailing, you're bailing away and you want to you want to stop your baler your bail is full you just push in on your brake the transmission brings you to a stop do your do your remotes up here kick your bail out um and you can do all that so another cool feature on here we talked through that's the active drive 2 that is enabled there allows you to do that allows your your ranges to be a b and c uh and so now we're going to do our memory shuttle so this is an instance so you're going you're where you're turning around a lot you want to maybe be going forward in a higher gear than when you turn around our transmission will remember it so here i'm set at b6 going forward and b3 going backwards so as i'm going forward i'll let her off here and so we're going i'm going to use my uh shuttle on my hand here to turn around or put it in reverse excuse me so i'm going forward at b6 so now i want to turn around and go back the other way my transmission drops me back down into B3. So thus, obviously I'm going a lot slower in reverse than I am in forward. And so it, it just does that automatically for us. And so that's crucial for applications where you're going into the bales, doing that kind of stuff, going into a bale and you want to be going in there quick, but then once you got a load on, you want to be going back. So then I turn around and want to be going forward. It takes me back up to B6. So and then the other cool thing here is when we're shifting forward, we have our smooth shift enabled. So when I want to go, so I'm going to go from B6 to B7 here, it was almost seamless. You know, you didn't even, didn't even feel the tractor move. Uh, that's how, you know, smooth shift enables us to go from higher ranges or higher gears to higher ranges very seamlessly that's the advantage here so any questions about our active drive 8 don't hesitate to give us a call appreciate you all for tuning in